Hi guys, Dave in Texas, and uh, I've had some questions about the uh, t-shirts again, okay? <laughs> now this one is the, uh, I think it's the original one. Now the reason the questions came up is because some of the guys wearing them, like Ch China Guitar Skeptic's been wearing his, the uh, going with a great big uh, logo on the front of it, which I appreciate because, you know, helps, uh, you know, advertise the channel. Thanks, guy. And uh, uh, Dave's World with Bunch Stuff also wears his. And I appreciate that too. Of course, they're very nice t-shirts. You know, these are very thick cotton. And, uh, you know, they sell for $18 a piece. And uh, this is, a like I said, this is one of the original ones. <laughs> anyway, they're real nice. And uh, they come in all kinds of sizes. Uh, they come in uh, 1X, 2X, and 3X. And uh, Sugar Bridges uses hers for a 90 when it's nice and warm out. Okay, instead of, uh, uh, you know, pajamas. Which she kind of likes, right? And, uh, you know, every time I see her wearing I'm thinking, hey, Dave's in Texas. Yay! Thinking, yeah, Dave's going to be in somewhere else later on tonight, too. <laughs> Ooh, hope she doesn't see this. She's going to beat the crap out of me. Anyway, uh, let's get on with the rest of the video. And, uh, like I said, these are selling for $18 still. And thanks, guys, for wearing these. Uh, China Guitar Skeptic and Dave's World of Fun Stuff. I appreciate that. So, Hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, so now I got the t-shirt taken care of. Uh, some other issue I got to clear up real quickly. And it has to do with getting guitars in the mail. <laughs> okay? Because I got, uh, you know, Sugar's out there and doing, doing what she does in the house. I'm in here doing my stuff. I'm doing my office. And then she yells out, Dave, you didn't order another guitar, did you? I said, no, why? So said, well, come here. UPS is bringing in another guitar. So I go up and I look out. And sure enough, come up the walks. There's a little tiny UPS lady hauling this great big guitar, as big as her. And, you know, banging on the door. Come get this thing. It's heavy. <laughs> so I go in there and I get it. And I'm thinking, I know exactly what it is. And sure enough, I look inside. And there's a letter from the guy that sent it from New Jersey. Okay. Asking me to fix the neck on his broken uh, Epiphone, okay? And I'm thinking, well, first of all, you know, the guy never contacted me and asked me if I'd do it or not. That's kind of bums me out, okay? And the second part is, uh, after I looked at it today, there's parts missing from the broken neck, like slivers and chips and large pieces, which, you know, if they told me, I said, hey, send all the stuff to me. Don't send it, expect me to build it from nothing. So in this case, since the guy never even asked me what I charged to do the job and didn't ask me if I wanted the job, I'm sending it back as it is. Still broken, right? Because I, I can't even fix it without the parts, for God's sakes. And it just makes me mad. Some of you just think, oh, I'll fix it and put it on the channel and do it, you know, for kicks and giggles. Guys, uh, I do this for a living, okay? I make money doing this. I fix guitars. I modify them for my friends and partners. And yeah, I take on new stuff. Okay, I take on new stuff all the time for new people. That's what I do. Okay, and if your your you know, your pair job is interesting, I'll put it on the video. I'll put it on my channel. I have no problems with that. I enjoy doing that. Okay, and I'm sure a lot of people will enjoy seeing it on the channel. Okay, you know, it's mainly been I've been repairing my own stuff. You know, <laughs> they had so much stuff to be repaired <laughs> from friends that borrow stuff and break stuff. But anyway, yes, I'm getting to a point where I'm putting up people's guitar repairs online for them to see it, you know, get done. And, uh, you know, I'll be showing a lot more here in the near future, okay, as they come in. Uh, instead of just, you know, saying, hey, here it is, and sending it back. I'll show the actual repair going on, or the modification going on. And I think you guys enjoy that kind of thing, okay? But don't just send it to me out of the blue, right? Get me on the phone or on the email, tell me what's going on. I may ask for pictures to make sure that, you know, we had a chance to fix it, and I'll be more than happy to talk to you about your repair job. Okie dokie. Now, about sending stuff way out of the blue, like New Jersey, I looked on that, and it cost that guy $59 to send it to me. Uh, freight, you know, slow, ground, whatever. 59 bucks, alright? Uh, that's a lot of money. You know, to sit on the Epiphone, but you know, if he'd done it right, I could have repaired it. Wouldn't have been a problem, but he did it wrong. Okay? So, uh, that 
and uh, uh, you know <laughs> that is just amazing what now that covers that hope for the last time if you've got a repair contact me either through uh, David is in Texas at gmail.com and we'll discuss it or even write me a note on my channel we'll discuss it and go from there so I hope that's over for good okay now the next thing is I put up my new uh, opening for uh, the Texan guitars uh, before I had a chance to thank uh, China Guitar Skeptic okay I thanked him you know in person when he sent it to me he said thanks but I wanted to make sure I said thanks to him you know, on a video well things got out of whack and things got out of order and the, the thank you video <laughs> got uh, uh, put to the side and never got finished okay so again I want to say thanks guitar China guitar skeptic thanks much for doing that video for me and yes I love it okay I absolutely love it and no guys it's not too short it's not too long it's just right to do a good introduction saying ta-da Texas guitar Texan guitars here they are okay so I think it's pretty cool the way he did it, right? And <clears throat> what else do I need to go over one more time, right? Um, on these guitars, I'm selling Texan guitars. Right at the moment, we don't have a credit card set up, but we'll have that done in the near future, okay? The next couple of weeks, I think. should be done. It's not that hard to do. You just have time to go out to the bank and do it. In the meantime, if you want one of the prototypes, you know, or you want to buy one of the other ones, you know, immediately, we're taking money orders, okay? No, we don't take uh, PayPal. I've had bad experiences with PayPal, but we will take checks or money orders, you know, for the uh, uh, checks for the uh, new guitars and money orders for the prototypes. This one's still for sale. And we almost sold the gold top yesterday, but the guy didn't want to uh, uh, send a money order, which, you know, makes no difference. These, remember the guys, these prototypes for sale as is, okay? There's no returns on these things. And if you like, before I send them, I'll be more than happy to go over them with a video inch by inch showing you everything's going on with them since we had to modify, modify these things so many times there's more holes than there should be as well as uh, give you a chance to hear the final tone on it okay and of course we will change and put a new set of strings on it too <laughs> instead of the ones that are on it right now which are pretty messed up <laughs> especially this one Tell these Parsons Streets are great pickups. They sound wonderful. They have plenty of bass to them. Plenty of treble. Sound just like you know Gibson pickups. So what more could you ask for? And the prototypes are selling for four fifty a piece, plus shipping and handling. Wherever you live, okay. And this guy he lives in New York, and I think it was like. 50 bucks almost more to send it out to New York to him. Yeah, that makes sense. 59 to New Jersey, 50 bucks to New York. Anyway, all those issues I wanted to cover and any questions, give me a holler. And by the way, it was just a gag, guys. <laughs> See, this is my good left hand. It's still working. It was a gag like when I cut my thumb off on the video. And most of the guys got it when they saw it. Ah, David's pulling a quick one. And yes, it's meant for this cool quick joke. But I got so many emails of people calling me saying, Oh my God, you poor guy. I thought, Oh, I got to stop this gag immediately because it's getting out of hand. Get it? <laughs> Broom cheek. <laughs> getting out of hand. Anyway. Any questions on t-shirts or the prototypes? Give me a holler. David, Texas. Crazy as ever. Bye.